I bob my head every time <laughs> to that, that music. I love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's up, Facebook? What's up, YouTube? What's up, TikTok? What's up, Shadero? What did you? What's up, Jeffrey? How are you, sir? Same old, same old. It's been a beautiful day. So good, I can't good. complain. And, and I'm excited because we got this episode of Sisters. I'm anticipating it to be everything. I, I saw some posts in group. I didn't get too much into it, but I saw some nice little clips. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited to see it. Yeah, yeah. Same here. I um I I know a little bit of, you know, some of the stuff that's going in going down, but I'm like, I'm hyped up to actually watch this happen. Okay. Season seven, episode eleven, Gone Wild is where we are at. Um yes. anything, anything specific you looking for in this episode? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, didn't we say the last episode was kind of meh? And uh, I think uh, it was setting us up for this episode. So I, I'm anticipating big th big things. I want to see. I want to see who who's who, uh, Andy, who her co counsel is. I want to see. I want to see that. Mm -hmm. I want to see. Um, I know something's happening with Penelope and. And, and Andy told her to, to, to get, get out of here. So I want to see what's up with that, you know. Hmm. I don't know. A lot of little things I want to see. Yeah, Penelope um, making the stupid um, mistake of all times of confronting Gary just kind of annoyed me. Like, why is she doing that? But we'll see how that all goes down. Um, I don't know if she's just trying to bring him down or something because she should have been bounced, right? Bit oh, excuse me. I mean, like with it, with that information being had, there is no reason to confront anybody. It's just confronting anybody in that situation is not necessary, not at all. I mean, I guess they have to justify cutting her a check to keep her in the show. So they just got to have her lingering around. Like who? Like who? Who? Who's gonna put up with this punishment willingly? Because you know. I, and I can't even flip it and say, okay, no, she, she's trying to investigate and get him. Like, it's not even worth it. Like, girl, the information that you, you're getting or not getting is not worth it. Correct. You know? Yep, no doubt. If you want to call in during this time, feel free. Area code 312. We got a brand new number, so please write this down. 312-585-7280. That number works whether we live, we're live or not. If we're not live, then leave a voicemail about how you're feeling about all this and we will um play it when we come back are you ready to to get on to watching this episode i am i'm looking for the uh live and group though oh. <laughs> it's not there let's see, let me refresh. Let's see if i can find nope, it i got it i got, I got it I'm, right. yeah i'm just gonna yeah i got it go ahead all right you ready i'm a rich Kimberly Potter. What happened to her? Previously on Sisters. I'm not asking for a handout. I'm only asking for what's fair, what I deserve. I will let you know. Danny met my kids. I think it went well. Officially, little terrors. Dr. Phillips found something on your amniocentesis that she would like to discuss with you. What's wrong? Let me go carry you. You murder. <laughs> Clean up crew is there. Damn it, Dagger. How much longer is this shit gonna take? You know how long a thorough job takes? This ain't our first rodeo together. Been Damn, a messy Gary, you done, done this plenty of times. Are you calling me boy? My bad, Gary. You're damn right it's your bad. What exactly say happened here again? I did it. <laughs> Hurry up and get these guys to clean his arms and rid the shit of this ungrateful. Stop! 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 Oh, baby. Hey, hey. You okay? <sighs> Real quick. So from that, we're supposed to deduce that he murdered her, but because this is you know, whether Tyler is writing or producing, it's still a Tyler Perry show. 
we don't know whether or not that happened or not. I mean, we 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 might find out later that <clears throat> she just had blood and she ended up leaving or she's kidnapped or or anything like that. But I think that the way this is put down is we're supposed to get out of this that she's dead or at least extremely hurt and that Gary has done this plenty of times because he knows who to call. He didn't it's like this isn't our first rodeo together with this. This is you you have us clean up your mess often. That's what we get from that. Did you right. get anything different? Right. No, I got the exact same thing. Uh, he already had the guy on speed dial, apparently. Yep. Um, there was no questions asked as yeah. a normal person would ask. Like, what? So, you know, Gary's done this plenty of times. Yeah, he asking what, what happened here towards the end of it. <laughs> he understood yeah. the urgency yeah. when he saw that. Oh, shit, I got to hurry up and clean up this mess. Get Gary out of trouble. And Gary feels nothing as far as uh, uh being sarcastic right back with him. There's no fear going on here that he might call the police nope. or anything like that. Nothing. You woke up screaming. Did I? Yeah. Hmm. You must have been having one hell of a dream. I guess so. You remember any of it? Vaguely. I... I remember a woman um, screaming, and there was blood everywhere. Yikes. Oh, well, it's probably best that you forgot that one. Right. How long was I asleep? 20 minutes into the movie. <laughs> Why didn't you wake me up? <laughs> uh, you, mean you, just, you were just so adorable laying there in my lap. I couldn't stop looking at I you. I am kind of adorable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's say what? we uh -huh. continue our little uh -huh. movie marathon <laughs> upstairs. Just movies? Uh-uh. Can we make it one? <laughs> all right. We're going to continue this upstairs, okay. all right? Yes. And I can make sure that all the rest of your dreams <laughs> are also sweet. Okay. Oh. <laughs> ah. oh, let's go. <laughs> This morning. Mm, after the evening I had, we would have been too. Oh, okay. So I guess Jordan's cracking bags night and day, huh? Let's see. You could just call my man, the chiropractor. Well, I am happy you were in such a good mood. Thank you. Miss mm -hmm. Marie Willis is <coughs> in the Yep. Why she got to be standing there with that Fatima? nasty Why didn't you tell me that when I first got here? Oh, uh, pause it. Pause it. Pause it. So, um, so. Not to not not to jump on your girl, but oh, yeah, can not. one argue? Yeah. Can one argue? Fatima was standing there, and I'm okay. Maybe it, it's slow. She maybe she didn't have anything to do in her in her office, which we never see anymore. But the one huge client that's standing in the office, you don't give your boss the heads up that she's standing there with a pissed face. You don't give your boss the heads up. Sit down. She well, she tried. Sir Daryl, can I remove your biased ways? Yes. The light skin, the, the light skin team. I know you want to fend for it, but uh -huh, uh -huh. can you just uh, the, your boss is coming in, you see a client, high profile client, face pissed off, turned up for whatever reason. You trying to tell me. You trying to tell me Fatima didn't find it fit to say, you know what, let me let me text her and give Andy the heads up. Let me call Andy and give her the heads up because I call her for BS anyway. So let me let me do my job for once right. and right. give her a heads you, up. You, 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 you don't see that? You second guess like the situation. No, I feel like I got a fight. No, I feel like I got a fight. I'm no, agreeing with you. Finish. I'm agreeing with you. Let me finish though. Let me finish. I need you. No, I want you to. I got to finish. I feel like I got a fight. For you to hear what I'm saying, uh -huh. because it took. I got. I got to go through all of this for you to see what I'm saying. Uh huh. You know I'm right. She couldn't give a boss a heads up. Hindsight is twenty twenty, and you're right. She probably should have. 
Probably. Probably. Oh, okay. Whatever. Let's go. Anything else? That's it, but you whatever. I, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. Have fun, girl. <laughs> Damn! Got the face. Miss Marie, um, I how nice of you to finally show up to work today. I didn't realize we had a meeting scheduled today. We didn't. Now, one thing you will learn about me. Well, who am I kidding? There's a lot you have to learn about me. But one thing is I don't live my life on anyone else's schedule. Yes. But Andy's supposed to be living her life on hers. Miss Marie Willis, I, I apologize. And for the last time, <coughs> it's Miss Marie or just Marie. Mrs. Willis was my raging bitch of a mother-in-law. Of course. I'm so sorry. Um, what brings you in today? What else? Protecting my billion-dollar fortune from these bottom-feeding lowlife who want to walk away with half the coins they didn't earn. Keep up, girl. Pause it. Me? No. Oh, okay. A seasoned veteran. This is what she. Spe this is what Andy specializes in. What brings you in today? If she didn't have a meeting, Jeff. What br what brings you? I have no idea why you here. Are you my client? Oh, you getting a divorce? Oh, what what brings you in today? As opposed to what's going on? What's it? Let me let me get an old school pen and paper to to look like I know what I'm talking about. Let me log onto the computer to show I have a file or something, which I probably don't. But let me let me at show least some pretend, urgency. Huh? At least pretend. Yeah, exactly. What what are you doing? What are you doing here? Wow. Have we met? Oh, see, now you're just going too goddamn far. <laughs> okay, but, is not, but you that, see my point. But you see woman, my this point. This woman is out of control. Are you gonna are you gonna end that by saying that this woman is out of control? Because she's a I'm, billionaire. No, I'm not saying that. I, I I'm not saying that. Oh, she's Are a you going she's to say Yes, she's the C word. Okay, just like her, just like her mom. My point is, first off, Fatima didn't set her boss up for success and didn't get her, give her the heads up. Because obviously, you know, Andy isn't good under pressure, and she doesn't know how to <clears throat> jump right to it. So I, I I feel that Fatima let her down and didn't give her the, the proper heads up. But in the moment. I'm still gonna blame Andy because she's just like, oh, oh what, what, what brings you in today, babe? Babe, you need to at least fake it, at least fake it. But that's it. Uh, uh, well, let's get to it, shall we? Hey, Brina. Hey, girl, what's up? Child, nothing but getting these bundles together for my 10 a.m. sewing with her tender hair. What you doing? <sighs> nothing. Just drinking this expensive ass coffee so I can face another day of bullshit in the sink. You still mad that your supervisor stepped to you? I mean, Karen, seriously, wouldn't you be? Almost had the mind to tell India off and walk out. I feel you, girl. But anyway, listen, what are you doing today? Because I was thinking to invite the girls to Rich's Juice Shop for some mocktails. What do you think? Mocktails? Oof. Well, Danny's gonna love that. Whatever. Danny will be fine. Her and her little drunk self. Look, you're pregnant, obviously. Expecting my little baby and me. I'm, you know, not drinking because I'm doing the hormone thing. So she can just suffer in solidarity with us. You know, that's <coughs> the name of our group. Suffering in solidarity. <laughs> yeah. Mocktail sounds good to me. Okay, cool. I'm gonna text everybody. I'll give you the details later. I'll talk to you later. Okay, oh wait, um... When you say the girls, you mean just us, right? Yes. Us? The sister circle? Right, I mean, but you know, some of the members think that the sister circle is open to new members. Oh, are we talking about she who shall not be named? And what's wrong with Fatima? Oh my gosh. First Andy. That I, I I am so not with that. I mean, you know this, my girl. I am so not with that question. That's correct. I, I don't understand how this even is being written into the script. There are no group of girls who are best friends that would really have this conversation, right? Right? Uh what do you mean? I don't know. No, there's just, there is no group of girls who who aren't going to automatically understand 
that the woman who's with the man that you're in love with and pregnant by, possibly, because they don't, they haven't gotten that confirmation yet. When you're just trying to get together as friends, that person is crazy to invite that person. They, everybody would know this. This is not a real question that would be asked for her to say, you know, Fatima not going to be there, right? Yeah, I'm hmm. right. I'm right. And Danny, and now you under her spell too? I mean, what is it about this chick that has my ex and my oldest friend that keeps bringing this chick around me? Karen, listen, we have to really... <clears throat> I have to call you back. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi, India. Personal calls on company time? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't... It was a personal call. I sincerely hope that isn't the example you plan to set now that you're branch manager. Um, India. Ooh. Oh. oh. I'm sorry, could you repeat yourself, please? That's right. Congratulations, Sabrina. You are Brookhaven Bank and Trust's latest branch manager. <laughs> Thank you. You deserve it. Thank you. How soon before she tried to bring Marie's ass back up in there? I don't know, but can I just say uh, uh, just a stupid observation, which means nothing. I thought we were move, we moved past Sabrina's crazy outfits and stuff, but it's like they're just doing it on purpose now because they they see our chats and see. It's like, do you see her outfit? I didn't even notice. I, let me let me. Let me okay, but you one. you gave Andy you gave Andy such crap talking about she was wearing a nightgown, but you don't see this uh mump, this bandage around her her chest. She has on a uh, I'm sorry, could you long sleeve oh, shirt? That's right. Congratulations, Sabrina. You are broke. Yeah, that that that's that's kind of wild right there. That is a ridiculous looking outfit. And it it's crazy too because um no, I did notice it. Maybe it was because it was all white that somehow it blended. But you're right. They had her dressing before in such a unique way, just like different from everybody else, almost like an eccentric way without actually saying it. And and yeah, I guess they've at least for this episode, they came back to it. Mm-hmm. Haven Bank and Trust latest branch manager. <laughs> Thank you. You deserve it. Oh. Thank you. <sighs> yes. 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 But so pause it. <clears throat> um, if that lady is lingering, I'm guessing. The only reason that, that that woman is lingering lingering around because that location doesn't have a branch manager yet, right? <clears throat> but so, because I'm thinking, she already said that she wasn't bringing. They're not there. The company isn't bringing Maurice back. So, are we thinking that Sabrina can overrule that? I mean, he's just a teller, but I don't know if it's like a a corporate chain to where his 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 profile is somewhere and it'll get dinged if she tries to bring him back i don't know yeah i think that in real life it would be it would it, they would know immediately it would be ridiculous to even try um but I, I think she's gonna try regardless i don't think it would be worth it i think she'd be stupid to do that uh, it wouldn't be worth it you know that's something she apparently she really likes doing she seems to be really good at it you already know Maurice is a handful. He didn't listen to you when you were there, but you allowed it. Right. You know, she'd be, she'd be stupid to bring him back. Uh, yeah. But. More coffee? <laughs> hey, girl. You found out who your baby daddy is yet? Oh. Who's asking? You or your new best friend, Fatima? Who pissed in your oatmeal? Well, I guess I'm just tired of running with a pack of disloyal heifers disloyal karen i've been holding your ass down since freshman year who are you calling disloyal the danny i knew in college would never choose some chick over me when did i do that you and andy do it all the time whenever you hang out with the team karen we are all grown women andy and i are allowed to have friends outside of this damn sister circle <clears throat> so you would True. be okay True. if i hung out with tony's ex-wife Maybe you can give us some pointers to keep them damn kids in line. And what about Preston's new wife? You know, the one that he uh, married in spite of being in love with you? 
Ah, pause it, baby. It, huh? Pause it, baby. She got up behind with that one. She did. She got up behind with that one because she she, she 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 let her see where she was coming from, and she didn't have a quick response. <clears throat> she knew that would bother her if she started hanging out with Preston's uh new or uh, new person or whatever. That would and with any woman, I, I think that would bother them, right? And yes, if and I'm then bringing mistaken. her. To their meetings and, and dinner and get out of here. It would just be considered and, an absurd thing to do. And to your point, and I think I've said this before, it's something that you would feel like I shouldn't even have to say that. Correct. You know, if, if I, I know you and we talking about being my friend since freshman year in school and stuff, there's certain things you already know. You already know that they've had a blow up before. So why would you bring this person around? Yeah. Why would you even make mention? Yeah, you know. So. Yeah. Okay. You know what, Karen? We don't all have the luxury of working for ourselves. So let me hop off this here phone before I cuss you out and lose my job. Okay, hold on, no. I ain't finished. If I get fired, I'm coming to sleep by your ass. And oh, yeah, we gonna be in that boxy. Brina wants to do mocktails tonight, but it's for the girls only. No Fatima. You know what, Karen? You done got pregnant and thought you were everybody's mama. But let me tell you something, boo. I'm a grown-ass woman. If I want to invite Fatima anywhere, you better oh. believe I'm going to do it, bitch. Bye. Oh. Bitch. Um, girl, are you okay? I'm fine, Pam, okay? Just get back to work. No, I'm really sorry. No, Pam, um, I'm sorry. You are? Uh oh Yeah. Is that surprising? I mean, you don't usually apologize for yelling at me for nothing, ever. <laughs> okay, well, maybe that needs to change. I was oh. wondering, would you like to come oh. with me after work today? Oh. Like Doja Cat and Sweetie? Yeah, like that. Oh, you ain't said nothing but a word. I was about to go down. Oh, it is. You have no idea. So wait, 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 wait. Is she talking about the same uh with, with the with the with the girls? That's what she's bringing. Uh, yeah, she's bringing her. That's that's awesome. Do you have a problem with that? I don't. But the reason that she's doing it, um, is to have some sort of a a backup system there or extra support. But I don't. I still don't have a problem with it. Well, like I said, yeah, you you're right. Because at first I was just like, well, maybe she's doing that just because, but it wouldn't apply because no one has an issue with Pam. You know what I mean? No one's ever had a blow up with Pam, but I get that she's bringing Pam. That, that, that's her ride or die yeah. at work. And I think it's going to be kind of cool to see Pam in an actual scene, actual setting, hanging out with the girls to see how it is. But didn't she I mean, specifically say no other people <clears throat> outside of the sister circle? I mean, I know that she zeroed in on Fatima, but wasn't wasn't it that, that Karen was saying nobody else? She said that, and I think because Dan, Danny said, well, if I want to invite somebody else, I will be at TCA, so I think that's how, that's no longer going to be a thing. Uh, I think my only thing is no one has a direct no one has a direct issue with Pam. That's That's my only thing, even though I see what you're saying. If she says don't bring anybody outside the circle, don't bring anybody outside the circle. It's just a but, slight. It's just a slight dig for her to bring um, Pam. It's not even it remotely comparable to Danny bringing Fatima. It, it, it's like it's a whole. It's not Danny bringing Fatima is total disrespect. Her bringing Pam is inconsiderate after saying what she said. It's like two totally different. Yeah, yeah right. Only on, only because she made. She put such emphasis yep. on on it being just a sister. Okay, yeah, got it. Yeah. Look at you! Surprise! I got food. Baby scared me. Oh my goodness! I thought you were the partners or worse. Hayden to nosy ass. I cannot afford putting the city studying on company time, but gotta get in my can. But she's studying right next to an. <laughs> she's studying right next to an open window. 
Like anybody walking past there can see that she's doing something. It, walking in the door isn't really giving them a much better view than standing right there. Mm -hmm. Give her a break. Give her a break. Oh, I, I'm not. You know I ain't down in my girl. Yeah. Well, break. I got the smoked salmon and scrambled egg bagel you like. From Maggie and April's Deli. You know it. Plus... I got the fresh strawberries with the cream because I know you like the cream, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's you that like the cream, baby. Thank you. Only your cream, baby. Nasty. Mm hmm Thank you. Mm hmm Do not answer that. Maybe it's Danny and it might be important. Oh, it is? Oh. Definitely don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Danny, what's up, girl? Hey, Tima, are you busy? No, just sitting here eating with Zach. He says hi. Tell what's up? What's good in the metaverse? Danny says hi, babe. What's up? What's going on, girl? Uh, I don't know if Andy got a chance to tell you, but us girls are getting together at Rich Fuel's Juice Bar, and you are more than welcome to come, too. Okay, um... Pause it. That's what's up. <clears throat> that's cool. So, not even Andy mentioned that to... Fatima, kudos to Andy. Well, yet yeah, she didn't mention it yet. I I don't know, but uh, how nasty is it for Danny? And I'm not sure Danny would have even reached out to her had it not been for that conversation. I'm not I'm sure. pretty sure she wouldn't. Have but been. a pick. But how nasty is it for her to do that just to be spiteful when you know the girl when you know they don't get along? It is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. How 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 nasty is it to try and stir the pot? How miserable is that to stir the pot in somebody else's life? It's when, so when ridiculous. Herself. It's so ridiculous that if Fatima finds out how this went down, she should be pissed too. That somebody put her in that yeah. situation. Yeah. Yeah. It's gross. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we're heading straight over from work. Sabrina's calling it mocktails or some bullshit. I guess since pregnant half us can't drink and People trying to get pregnant again during. Okay, wait, does that mean that Karen's gonna be there? I mean, she might be there, whatever. Yeah, see, she's just lying. Yeah, I, I don't know, Danny. Hmm. Pause it. But I'm sure she wouldn't want me to come. Now, kudos to Fatima for gauging the, the conversation, but she shouldn't even have to ask, like, when, when soon as uh, Danny said, "Oh, pregnant heifers can't drink," then she said, "Okay, so that means uh, can't, that means Karen's gonna be there." Mm -hmm. She said, "Oh, she she might be there." I'm like, "What you mean she might be there? Y'all best y'all y'all supposed to be best friends, birds of a feather." So I so now I would uh, if I'm for team, I'm gonna feel like, "What are you trying to see a cage match or something? You want some entertainment?" That's the only reason you would invite me there. That's right? the reason why I'm saying Fatima should be pissed. She sh and you're right. Finding out at this point, she definitely shouldn't have gone. So, so, but I, I like where Fatima is going right now. I mean, she's caught off guard. She's kind of like, she doesn't know what we know, but she's kind of like, okay, this doesn't make much sense. Yep. She's assuming that Karen wouldn't want her there. And she's right. And she probably wouldn't even want to go. Right. All right. That's it. Who cares what Karen wants? I don't care. I'm going to the bar. Yeah. 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 First caller of the new era. Caller. Go, I, wait. Can't, I can't hear it. Wait, hold on, hold on. I think I got it. I think I got it muted. All right, caller, if you're there, hold on. We're having a couple technical difficulties. Oh, no, I, I don't have it. I, am I, am I, am I is it, can you connect me with the IT department? Something there you go. There. Can you I hear me now? You. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Why wow, you guys are still not up to par? I see. Tell yeah, well, we listen. We're, we're working on it. Let, cut us some slack. Where's the I? Anyway, gentlemen. Good evening. I hope everybody's doing well. Likewise. Glad to see you guys have caught up. You was behind for a long time on a lot of the different shows, but <laughs> looks like you. Up to speed. It's all anyway. Jeff's fault. Oh, yep. Of course it is. Yeah. God forbid you take any responsibility, Sir Daryl. But if ever I do something wrong, I will. I'll let you know when that day happens, though. 
Whoa. Hasn't happened yet, I guess, huh? No, okay. no, sir, not yet. But it's not impossible. Everybody <laughs> makes a mistake at least twice in life. I'm glad you leave that margin there. Yeah, yeah. Just in case. Just in case. The slightest probability it happens. But, but it's not impossible. I could theoretically make a mistake one day. Gotcha. Well, getting to sisters. Now, Danny is just out of pocket as usual. Come on. She knows there shouldn't be even any kind of consideration for Fatima to be invited. You know this person has beef with Karen. You know that. And you know usually when they're together, it goes left. Yep. So why would you even consider inviting that? Karen shouldn't even have to even imply that don't bring Fatima. But she felt <laughs> the vibe from previous interactions that Danny was leaning that way towards Fatima. So she's like, listen, just in case she was considering it, don't do that. And, and, and Danny tried to reverse it and gets a snot, it's an attitude and not out of spite invites Fatima. Now Fatima, she should know better also. She should just say no, shouldn't even consider going either. She knows usually it goes left herself. So why would she even consider going? She should just say thanks, but no thanks to Danny. Can you agree with that, Sir Daryl? And absolutely, I agree with it. Not only do I agree with it, I think that her <laughs> um, her transaction or 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 transgressions here are so egregious that it truly calls into question whether or not you remain friends with somebody who will do something like this. It is. It is. It's like you're inviting chaos. You're just yes. inviting drama. It's like you, you, it's like you want the drama and the chaos. And, and you know, and this probably shouldn't matter from the standpoint of friendship, but it's so much worse because it's a pregnant woman that you're inviting this chaos right. into. Right. Give her some kind of pass, but even so. Oh, Lord. But it's nothing wrong with being cool with somebody that your other friend is not cool with. But don't bring them around that person, especially if you know that person doesn't like them. Yeah. You never know what can jump up. Remember, both of these women carry guns in their purses. They so, both do. They you know, both so do. That's part of the equation. Let's not leave that out. And we know that your girl Fatima is prone to thuggery. All right. Now this is where you make your left turn. <laughs> you know, I had to throw that needle in there for you, sit down. Fatima is prone to not taking crap out of people unnecessarily. I, can can okay, we just okay. say that? Okay, semantics. Okay, you want to use that? Okay, if you want to cushion it like that? Okay, what do you what do you say about this, Joe? Uh, I was I was actually gonna give Fatima a little more grace because the the information came to her. She's having she having lunch with her man, and it just kind of came kind of left field. So she's just kind of gathering the facts. So I, I'm giving her a little grace when she's kind of like, I don't think she did say I don't think. I should be there. I don't think Karen would want me there. So I, I'm assuming ultimately she went, but I'm giving her some grace because it just came, it came out of nowhere. And I could I could write it off as she didn't want to be rude, so she accepted. I don't know. Okay, so I don't want to get ahead of the story with you guys, so I won't divulge any information. So I already watched the episode. So let's go back to it. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, you, you call us back. <laughs> Period. Okay, I'll I'll think about it. Bye. Bye. She wants you to go out with the girls? Yeah. I think you should go. Get out of here. I'm I'm sorry. Come here. <laughs> you think I should go? Zach, you're the main one that tries to keep me and Karen at least 1,500 feet apart. And how has that been working out for us? Exactly. Real talk, you and Karen may have way more in common than your amazing taste in men. Conceited ass, really? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, Karen has to get used to the fact that y'all share friends. She definitely doesn't like that. She also got to get used to the fact that y'all going to be in each other's lives. Like, y'all hanging out with each other's friends could be like, I don't know, like, like a truce. Honey, I um, <clears throat> I love your optimism. I do. Mm -hmm. I really do. But um, 
SWV and Escape would have to co-headline a tour before Karen I make up. Whoa. Just saying. I knew he was gonna stand there. I knew he was gonna go up. You gonna share? You didn't bring nothing for you? You girl, you're a savage. You are a selfish okay. savage. Hey, since you like the cream, you have the strawberry, the cream. You gonna feed me? Who's how I am still at work, okay? These people, man, no job. <laughs> I'll share it with you. Come on, eat, 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 eat. So hungry. I got this. Ms. Marie, our financial accountant is combing through your husband's finances with a fine tooth comb. So if he's hiding the assets... Now she got that dumb grin on her face because I bet you nothing even happened other than the fact that she wanted to let off on somebody. She wanted to be rude. She wanted to be disrespectful. She got it all out and she always does because she's a billionaire. So nobody talks back to her. And now she can just move on into the next phase of her attitude, which is her happy place right now until something happens that takes her right back to the non-happy place. Yeah. I really don't like this woman. We will find them. Good. Oh, and I started to work on that gag order we spoke about. Mm. That way your husband's team knows that they are legally prohibited from leaking any sensitive details to the press. Andy, do you really believe that a gag order can stop anyone from blabbing to the media? We are living in an era when porn stars violate NDAs to drop dimes on presents. Do you believe that you can stop my idiot of a husband from spilling my tea? You make a good point, Miss Marie, but I think it's important we get it on record so that we let them know we refuse to have this case tried in the court of public opinion. If you're any good at what you do, it won't go to trial. I knew you needed co-counsel. No, I assure you Whoa. that will be unnecessary. I've got I'm bored with this. I want you to make my husband a piss poor settlement offer so I can get back to living my fabulous life. Oh, I assure you, you will get back to your fabulous Preferably life. Preferably on a long holiday to the Gambia with some mm. hung black buck massaging oil into the crevice of my taut naked ass. Ugh. I couldn't help but overhear, <laughs> but I must agree. I understand your frustration with Andy's. Look at her stank face. Let's <laughs> see she looks at Aiden. Look at that face, dude. <laughs> I see. Approach. Hayden, I am having a conversation with my client. Well, I'm sorry, Andy, but I would be remiss if I didn't say something now that I know that Marie is in danger of losing a sizable portion of her estate. Go on, young man. Oh. Yep. I took the <laughs> liberty of going through the pre- and post-nuptial agreements that your previous legal team had your husband sign at the beginning of the marriage. Mm -hmm. Turns out, your previous attorneys, they established an ironclad asset protection trust. And this trust included a majority of the assets that you brought into the marriage and any residual income Ooh. thereafter. Speak English. Basically, Georgia law states that everything in that trust including LLCs, sole proprietorships, intellectual property, everything is protected from lawsuits, including from lawsuits, including divorce violence. So you see, all uh, Andy, or really any competent attorney worth his salt has to do, is enforce those agreements since your husband signed them years ago. Miss mm. Marie. It's not as simple as he's making I've it. I've heard sense. enough. <laughs> Mr. Moss, you are officially Andy's co counsel. Whoa! So Miss Marie, I, I strongly Pause encourage it. you from. Pause it. Pause it. Woo! See, now, Andy, she, she can't even. She missed that. And that is huge. And, and, and like I say, we forget Hayden comes off as a person who actually knows his stuff. He couldn't go go off his looks like how Andy can, you know. And I I still believe that Andy she she got what she, she got a she got further because of how she looks. Do you think so? Yes. See, you know what I mean. So we forget. I think that Hayden is very good at what he does, and he he just proved it right here because she missed something like that. Yeah. Don't you think? Wouldn't you think that's something basic? To, to look well, at no, prenups, and that's something she missed. A huge client like this, and that's something you missed. I can only imagine. I, I don't know. Just keep it rolling. Mm -mm -mm. 
Duress decision. I, you don't even. And I strongly advise you and Mr. Moss to work together to protect what's mine. Otherwise, I can take my very lucrative case and your healthy commission to another law firm. Good day. Well, that was easy. Put her there, partner. Partner. Uh, but she she should be thanking him. She should be thanking him. Yeah, it's difficult. I mean, I, I I don't disagree with you, but that's a real hard one to do. You can, and can, in her can mind, you imagine her delusional her, mind. She she's probably thinking, I don't need him. I would have found that. And she said it's not as easy as what he just said. Maybe she thinks that's true. I don't know. Wow, wow. Because I mean, she she wouldn't have been prepared for that. Obviously, you know. Uh, but I mean, better him than somebody else that she doesn't know. Like. Like, get out of here. She needs to get, yeah, she needs to get a get over herself. What yeah. is the reason that, that Andy doesn't like Hayden? I, I don't even remember. Just his overall general attitude? Well, her, her him and Gary were buddy buddies, so I'm, I'm thinking oh, yeah, that's okay, why. Yeah, he, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Andy. <laughs> so, there's a knock on my door. I open it. You're standing there, bulging in all the right places. Oh, yeah. What am I wearing? One of those delivery outfits. Uh, babe, I think they call that a uniform. What if it's role play? Now, back to what I was saying. There's a knock <coughs> at the door. <laughs> yes, <sorry. laughs> Did I manifest some dick? Uh. Oh. Hey, what? Uh. Oh. Hey, <clears throat> oh. Oh. What? Just walk in and... The the big dangling breast that fell out when he uh uh turned that corner. Now, because you didn't see it, I'm going to force you to uh I mean, like I, I, just did. I saw, but I think it's different because it's 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 man flab, so it's different. You know, like the the fat, fat man boobs. It's different. What? Whatever. Somebody there? Did I manifest some dick? <laughs> Hold it. Hey. What? Oh. Uh, <laughs> you have to on your own. Bye, boo. What did I just walk in and? Yeah. Child, my new life to get freaky when he at work. So I have to oblige. Mm -hmm. A family that plays together, stays together, or whatever they say. Right. What are you doing here? I'm on my lunch break. It's only an hour, bitch, and you know Paige will rat your ass out if you ain't back by 1 p.m. Oh, Paige, 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 Paige. I do not have to worry about Paige anymore. What you mean? She got herself fired. At least that's what the rumor is right now. She was doing some weird stuff with customers. Oh. Girl, shut up. Mm -hmm. I didn't she got fired, but Maurice didn't. Talk about it. So you know how she and I were both up for branch manager. Uh -huh, uh -huh. India had no choice because of her little discrepancy, but to give me the position. So I'm branch manager. So she didn't even get it based off of her own work and ethics and actions. She got it because the other person she was up against ain't there anymore. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. She got it. She got the salary. She got the position. But it's a little lackluster when you when when you get it in that way. Now, in this next scene, do you think Maurice is going to be anticipating? Yep. Girl, you gonna get get me my job back? Yep. That's what. And what do you think is gonna? And what do you think Sabrina's gonna say? Um. What is she going to say? I don't know. I think that she's going to start mm -hmm. leaning in that direction or at least feeling like she's supposed to. Okay. Yeah, you're probably right. And it's her skin, Maureen. It's worked. It's worked. What works? Brina, uh, I want to make a confession. Oh, boy. What? I may or may not have uh, dropped the dime that Paige may have been a... Uh, Giving oral sex to uh, customers outside of the building. 
Whoa! That was you. You mad that I did that? I don't think so. I think I could kiss you. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ain't no kissing, bitch. Keep them lips and them lips to yourself. I'm strictly dickly. Well, I can do you one better. Uh oh. Maurice, come back to the branch with me. Um, do you mean that? Yes. Please come back to Brookhaven Bank and Trust. I'd love to. Oh. I'm so proud of us. Back, back to normal. Who is that? Bitch. 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 And now, and now we can call you Lyra Banks. We can stop doing this. How much more disrespectful is he going to be overall than his best friend is just the highest manager there at the branch, the branch manager who actually brought him back. He's going to disrespect the hell out of everybody else at that bank on a, on a, on a much deeper level. What was she before? I can't remember. I don't remember. I mean, she was some sort of manager who had an office or she wasn't a branch manager. She was, I don't know what she was. Hmm. Hmm. And whatever position she's at now, I think that's a step higher than what she was at before, right? It's gotta be. It seems like I don't know. It's confusing. I don't know. Maybe uh, Matt knows. I don't know. Okay. Let's clean this up. I told you to stop touching stuff in here. You're gonna leave with an STD. Oh, okay. I'm leaving. Okay, I'm going. We're back. Stop my Matt um, chimes in says Maurice was a terrible worker why did Sabrina have the authority to hire him doesn't Sabrina's boss say they didn't want him back yeah that's so true and Sabrina's boss who said they didn't want him back she wasn't a branch manager she was like what the regional manager or something like that right I think so and they don't hire tellers you know that they leave that's up to the I guess branch manager to hire tellers and you know so yeah but if, if I they've guess, made the specific at that level if they've made the specific uh, uh go ahead i'm i'm thinking in lieu of having a branch manager i guess i guess their branch manager is like a general manager i'm guessing no, <clears throat> i guess she was i guess she was filling in that function because they didn't have a branch manager so i guess she was at the acting branch manager their regional lady uh -huh. that's what i'm thinking I don't know. Get on out of here. Okay. I love you. I love you more. Thank you. Thank for you for my job. Here. No, thank you for always having my back. Of course. Oh. We back in the bank. We're back we in the bank. Back the bank. <laughs> Man, they need to cut that crap out. Hello. Now that we're besties and all, I was wondering if I could take an extra half hour for lunch today. Are you serious, Pam? <laughs> all you did this morning was be on your lab about rags to bitches on the... I really do like um, Pam's... Um, the way they're bringing her in more. I feel like the... I mean, I don't know whether or not this is going to change as the seasons follow. But I, bring, I feel like that they are upping her role in the complete appropriate ways. Now, this is going to be the first time, mm -hmm. I guess this will be the second time we saw her or second or third time we saw her with the other girls. Um, but it still is all having to do with Karen. It, you know, it, 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 she's at the salon. If they keep it like this, they have, from my perspective, up to her screen time in the most appropriate way possible. Yeah, I love it. I love and it. And then revert back and do the same to Ari's, please. Quick, Grandma. Now you want an extra half hour for lunch? Make it make sense. Well, first of all, it's fruits to riches. Oh, fruits to riches. And second of all, it's not like I'm asking for the time to go goof off or get no afternoon dick or nothing. Well, what do you need the extra half hour for? I want to go see Sabrina at the bank about opening a business account. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. The lawyer that Andy hooked me up with said I need a business account for, I don't know, taxes and whatnot. Yeah. So I want to be a legit businesswoman like my role model. Hmm. And who's your role mm -hmm. model, Pam? Rihanna? Oprah? Beyonce? All of those ladies are fabulous, no doubt. 
But you're my role model, Karen. Are you? Wait, yeah. is she being serious right now? What the hell? I love the fact that she, they threw that little Beyonce reference in and at the end uh, for the extra effect. But Karen is, I am? She really didn't know that that's what she was going at. I mean, that's a, that's a big thing to, when someone calls you a role model. So I think that is major. I think that that could be surprising. That's believable that she's surprised. All right. The way you rebuilt this salon from the fire, all while pregnant with twins? Bitch, you need a cape because you are superwoman. Take as much time as you need to set up your account today, Pam. You sure? Yeah, please, just go before I change my mind. All right, well, I'll be back as soon as possible. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Close your eyes, all right? You're close. I'm close. And open. It's not my birthday. You know, I don't need a special occasion to celebrate my lady. Open it. In that case, I guess I don't mind if... <laughs> oh, you got my necklace back. Thank you. Actually, no, I got it replaced. Yeah, these are real. <laughs> Tony, thank you. Oh. I hope you put it on. Okay. Let's see. Let me see. Look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Get up there. What are you doing? Oh, come on, you know what I want. <laughs> <laughs> what about your secretary? Yeah. What about your job? I sent her home. You know she can't help me with this. Mm -hmm. She better not be. Uh, is everything okay, girl? Hayden just wormed himself <clears> into <throat> my case. This? Are you kidding me? Should my ears be burning? <laughs> no, but Tamir <laughs> should. You Fatima. You already did, Hayden, and it was terrible. <laughs> That's why your ass is so pressed now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can get out now. I need to talk to my co-counsel. Who do you think you're talking to? You know, Fatima. Um, could you please give us the room? Yes. Yes. Whatever. You yes. Need. Thank you. Uh -huh. I'll be right outside the door. Bye. <laughs> So, uh, when you want to bring me up to speed on this Willis divorce case? What are you playing at, Hayden? She wants... Scratch that. She demands that I'm your co-counsel on this thing. And what the billion-dollar client wants, billion-dollar client gets. So you couldn't go and find your own high-profile client? You had to slither around the office, waiting to pounce on mine? Maybe if you weren't so incompetent, you'd still be our sole counsel. It's not going to work. I know your game. And you may have been able to shoot oh, me into my case, but... The, the one thing I, uh, I pointed, I noticed, when Hayden calls her incompetent, she didn't deny it. You know, you know, did you notice that? I mean, she's gonna go fight every argument. I mean, but that is the main argument. Which, that's the main thing we're talking about. You I mean, know, you don't think that she actually to... believes she's incompetent. Oh, I don't know, but she's not defending it. She's not saying anything. I mean, she 
can't deny what he's saying. I, I, can we agree on that? I'm, she can't deny what he's saying. And I think that's what's so frustrating that she can't deny it. I don't know who do we blame for not uh, going over that paperwork with the fine tooth comb. Who's supposed to be doing that? She'll get to it. I, I didn't say any names. I'm just like, who do you who do you think should have been going over that 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 grunt work, finding these little little key things, but didn't didn't get to it? Maybe somebody yeah. who was preoccupied doing something else. Well, hmm. to, to to her credit, she probably. I mean, honestly, she probably would have gotten to it, and because of what hmm. he was trying to do, he's probably getting to everything much faster. Because oh. he, he had a whole plan in mind. He's like, he probably took wow. that and just stayed up all night the night before looking for something in order to be able to create this moment with. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Oh. Okay, so she didn't get to it. Okay, more things that were important. I get it. All right. <laughs> You're right. Let's go. The thing you really want, you're not going to get it. They're only going to name one person the new firm's named partner well at this rate it's not gonna be you little girl oh but lucky for you you got a second career as a future politician's wife that you can fall back on now you know since your little boyfriend got cleared of being chester the child molester <laughs> i'll uh see you this afternoon you see pause it andy she's not swift you know you know what i mean like uh, most girls have it where they swift with the with the silver tongue. Yeah. Hayden, he's quick. He's quick, and he walks away. And she just sits there looking. She's not. Andy's not swift enough. So that's the, I stand firm on. She get by. She gets by on her looks when she when she gets her cases. Hayden she's walk, not fast. She's not, Hayden walks away and just leaves her sitting there discombobulated, completely. It's just, it's 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 hilarious. It's hilarious. In in reality, she, I mean, I like like you said, she's not going to thank him, but she should be glad that it got caught now, sooner than later. Yeah, you know, because she 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 would have lost a uh, millions. Whatever. Go ahead. Hmm. You must be Ethan Kerr. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a firm handshake you got there. My daddy says you can tell a lot about a man by his handshake, so. <laughs> Your dad's right. Come on in. Have a seat right there. Thank you, sir. And you can cool it on the sir business. <laughs> Making me feel old. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh. You can blame my military training. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. You did five years in the Army and then got your BS in political science and your MS in public administration all under the GI Bill. Yeah, that's, that's correct, sir. Uh -huh. So tell me, what made you want to come join our small potato bid for city council with your pedigree? Well, uh, to put it mildly, I believe you when you say you want to help Atlanta continue to thrive as a booming, diverse metropolis while addressing systemic issues that have led to uh, glaring wealth inequality and rising crime. So diversity is what you're interested in? Yes, yeah, so don't, don't let the good old boy draw fool you. I, uh, I did dual internships with the King Center and the Carter Center in undergrad, and uh, I protested with the Black Lives Matter movement for two straight years all across the country. I want to be a part of the solution, not the problem. <clears throat> I like that. Uh, can I get you something to drink, a beer, soda? <laughs> Bottle of water if you got it. Thank you. Uh, of course. Uh, uh, I apologize for having you meet at my home. The political office is still swamped with reporters. Now, I got to say, I commend you for how you handled that whole unseemly ordeal. Oh, uh, well, it was important for my partner and I to put the whole sorted thing in our rearview mirror, you know? Focus on the campaign. Your partner? Andrea Barnes. Yeah. Uh, she is a brilliant local attorney. You'll love her. So does that mean I have the job? Are you kidding me? 
with your resume, <laughs> man, you had the job before you walked in the door. When can you start? What are we just looking at? Like, I guess is this is the introduction of a, a, a new character that's gonna we're gonna find out probably more about him. I mean, what 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 what, what just happened? I don't know. He just came out of nowhere. I assume he had an interview planned. I I I can't imagine he just popped up. So I think he was expecting him. Uh, he was he, he had a quick interview for this position. Uh, I don't know what to make of him. I, I was trying to look for cues or something, uh, yeah. an angle, but it's too it's too soon to see. What what did you gather from the interaction? What did you gather? I didn't know. At first, I thought he was coming on to him. Um, and, and, and mm. the, when he first opened the door, I was like, well, why is this happening at his house? He explained that little part. Um, I, I think that for sure, um, he's going to get the job or get the, cause he, he has not been elected yet. Right. I'm, I'm sorry. Again? When I say get the job, I'm saying that, um, what's his name? Jordan is his name, right? Yes. He He's running for something. So I'm the City fact that, council. The fact that they're bringing this person in leads me to believe he will be actually elected because that's the only reason why this story is going to even make sense or, or bringing somebody new in that regard. Um, but I don't okay. I just don't know what to make of that scene is my point. Yeah, I don't. At first, I thought maybe he knew him from, you know, from his past or something. I'm like, OK, we got some of his past is coming to haunt him, but they don't know each other. Yeah. So. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> you better have some good news for me. I'm about to find out. Talk to me. I'm in. Oh. Good work. Oh, 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 oh. here we go. Instructions. <laughs> well, we're good to go. Jordan Williams is about to have his entire political career dismantled from the inside out. <laughs> what is his reason for hating Jordan so oh because he's with Andy yeah my bad <laughs> so what do you think that is delicious mm -hmm. I mean oh, the girls are gonna love this even Danny are you sure there's no liquor in here? Not a drop. <laughs> you want to know something else? What? My um, mocktails aren't the only thing that tastes delicious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you're so bad. Mm -hmm. Ah, I got a little He shouldn't be doing things that could lead to pregnancy. Do you? Hmm. All right. Hmm. Oh, that's... Mm. Go. Uh, what is this? Open a box. You don't have to give me anything. Hey, yo, stop. Can you just open a box, please? Okay. Wait, is this? Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You got me the bag that I wanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we can't have Brookhaven's bank and trust newest branch manager going to work with just any old bag now, can we? No, we can't. Mm. Thank you so much. This is why. Yes, it is. I love it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. Say you'll give India and the rest of them hell until they got no other option but to make you president of the whole damn bank. Mm -hmm. What did I do to deserve you? Uh, I don't know. You're just lucky. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all gonna scare the customers away with all that kissing. Hey, don't worry about that, Danny. Because for the next hours, this whole spot is reserved for my girl and her girls. Y'all my only customers. Oh, Sabrina, you must be given that. Penny. Every time. Stop, can both of you? It's embarrassing. <laughs> Goodness mm. sake. Mm. Uh, I'll, I'll leave this here. I'll let you enjoy some time with your girls, but it's going to be right here for you. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Mm. There you go, beautiful. 
Hi. Thanks for coming. Mm-hmm. Where's everybody at? I'm sure they'll be here in a second. Oh. Hey, Francine. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Okay. What alternative universe are we in? Pause it. What the hell That's is going like, on? Like, you know nobody what? Sees you know, this. No, no, no. So let's go over this real quick. We already know Danny is trash. Yes. And I've said that for a while. Sabrina let me down because she should be like, let me pull you to the side. You you know Karen doesn't get along with her. Why 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 stir this up? Who why did you invite her? Why 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 mess up this occasion? You saw what happened the last time they got together at uh, Karen's house. So why why even why even act like everything's okay? It's so silly. This is ridiculous. Um, and Fatima ain't even mentioned this to Andy. Uh, uh, Matt, uh, I think he said this the same time as me. He said, why is Sabrina cool with, I think he meant Fatima yeah, so being, Fatima there. being there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he also said, uh, Pam is, I forgot to read this. Pam is messy, but she's a true ride or die for Karen. That's true. Yeah, this All is right. very true. This is this is stupid, and and you know who's gonna be the shock, the most shocked is Andy. Wait a minute, we just left work and came to the same place. Didn't even mention it. Um, uh, Andy didn't know that Fatima was gonna be there. No, and I but they were both Fatima. at the same place. I don't. I don't know when Danny told Fatima. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Absolutely. The more the merrier. <laughs> hey, hey. I didn't know you were going to be here. We could have wrote together at the firm. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to tell you with everything that was going on, but Danny invited me. Oh, yeah. So just nobody, they're all here, all of them. And nobody sees this as a problem. That is so stupid. You know what? Like, <clears throat> you know, no matter what side you, you 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 lean towards or who you ride for, you can agree that out of the whole sister circle, not one of them thought to text Karen and be like, listen, don't stay your ass home because you're not going <laughs> right. to want to stay. You know, not not one of them thought to she give still her a heads up to text. She still would have came, but just but, but to, still, you know, still. how how disappointing or, 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 or how disappointed would I be that my friends didn't give me the heads up to yeah. give me the opportunity to, to prepare myself to be like, okay, this is they have somebody looking across at me with a snark look on their face. Yeah. I mean, but, like, I don't get it. Whatever. Matt says alternative universe. Absolutely. This is this is crazy. This is crazy. When when I saw Andy's face, I thought that Andy was gonna be like like the only voice of reason here. Exactly. No, her logic was she, we should have just rode together. What? I mean, I guess you couldn't put on a a, a a stank face in front of Fatima, but you're right. You know, she kind of just kind of rode off. Oh, we could have rode together, like as opposed to let me pull you to the side. Like, what, what's going on? Like, what you doing here? Like, you know. Oh, I'm so pissed. All right, let's go through this madness. But it's good TV. Yeah, no, it I'm is. Be best if I drove my own car just in case some drama pops off. Oh no, going to be no drama, no drama. Yeah. And you what? Are you yeah. Jack, you're part of the friend group. Three out of four is a majority. Yes. All right, you are in the sister circle. Okay. Man, that is the so, dumbest. Karen, don't come up in here like that. Very ominous. So much for no drama. Huh? And smiling. Uh -huh. And smiling like it's a... What's up, Michael? You having fun? You want daddy to read you a book? Huh, man? You want daddy to read you a book? Come on. I got you. Let's read a book. I'll grab one of these for you. You can play with it. Yeah. Read some this. Let's see. Ah. Start here. This is the story about the lion 
and the jackal. You a jackal? You a jackal? Yeah, you a jackal. It's fine. Come on, we got to read it, see? In July 1894. Damn, Sabrina, what's in these things? The Pope of every major food group? <coughs> you don't like it? I mean, it's cool. It's just a little thick, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but it's all right. I got something to loosen it up. Loosen it up? What are you talking about? Oh, you know, don't you worry about that, baby. You can't have none of it anyway. Got to keep them eggs further. Danny? Huh? You were supposed to stand in solidarity with Karen and me? And I did for the first part of the day, but see, I need a drink, okay? You be okay. Why down is Pam now. looking at her like that, though? Do you know? Do you understand what's going on there with Pam? Well, I'm pretty sure uh, 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 Karen filled Pam in, like, ah, how okay, she yeah. feels and what, what's going on. And yeah. she's just like, uh, you know, that's her ride or die. Yeah, so like, she, I'm, I feel like she's been confiding in Pam what's going on. Yeah, you're right. That's wrong. That's, yeah. yeah. Talking about, oh, you know, don't you worry about that, baby. You can't have none of it anyway. Got to keep them eggs further. Danny, huh? you were supposed to stand in solidarity with Karen and me and i did for the first part of the day but see i need a drink okay you be okay. Okay. Time out here you don't worry Brady. we should know that danny's selfish by now it's been many years well i gotta be all that karen huh i gotta be all that yes you are dude i don't know why you're just all so i'm selfish because <clears throat> you decided to let zach knock you up oh so i'm not supposed to drink I'm just saying, somebody help me understand. Ooh. I ain't caring about your Stop it. And you know what? You might want to stop acting so evil. You're going to mark them babies. That may or may not be his. Did you say something, Fatima? Karen, if I wanted you to hear me, trust me. Pause it. Um, now, pause it. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Now, you got to agree. Why even add fuel to fire? Like, we already, like, I don't know why this would be so upset like it's real life, but we already know Fatima shouldn't have come, come right? We we can agree on that. Why make a, a, a subtle jab about her kids having big head to, to piggyback on on Danny's dumb, silly comment? Now, can't, like, Fatima was so wrong for that. I don't, what did she say exactly? I don't know. I, I was actually going to go back and listen. I'm not sure. Let's, let's just watch it. Let's, let's say it again. Goodness gracious. I'm not supposed to drink. I'm just saying, somebody help me understand. I ain't caring about your Stop it. And you know what? You might want to stop acting so evil. You're going to mark them babies. That may or may not be his. He's, she said that may or may not be his. May, might, may not be his. So why would, you know, that's, uh, how nasty is that? Well, that ain't that bad out of everything else that's going on. Uh but no, I see, but you adding fuel to the fire. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that's the worst thing. I'm not saying that's the the. <laughs> I'm not saying that's the worst thing that could have happened. But you could trying to tell me out of all of the stuff that's not, going down, you want to pounce on that one little Fatima comment. I haven't. I been pouncing on everybody. I've been pouncing on Danny too. I'm saying, why add more to it? Why add more to confusion for somebody that says, "Oh, I don't." She, she, but, Fatima can't act like she doesn't like drama when she's taking a subtle jab like that. That that kids that may or may not be his. Yeah. <laughs> you got me blown up. But you see what I'm saying? But you just don't want to see. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I, I don't, you just don't want to see. I don't strongly disagree. I think it's a little slight, tiny bit of a jab. Okay. Whatever. Did you say something, Fatima? Karen, if I wanted you to hear me, trust me, you would have heard me. Um, mm. Okay, you know what? You got some damn nerve coming in my girlfriend's event, questioning the paternity of my babies. I was with Zach for three years. Mm. Bitch, I ain't got to explain shit to you. Oh, bitch? Bitch. Did I stutter? Mm. Huh? Mm, Andy. Okay, okay, Um, let's not do this here now. This is uh, Sabrina's. Yeah. Event. Yeah. yeah. Happy for her. Very happy. Very happy for you. You know what, Karen? Just because we don't know who the father of those children are doesn't mean you're the Virgin Mary. Okay, you know what, Danny? I've really been wondering why I am even friends with you anymore. 
It's bad enough that you let Zach stay with you, move in with you when we was having our problems, but now you bosom buddies with the bitch who's trying to stop him from being a father to his own children? That's what you doing? Really? That's a damn lie, Oh, it's a lie. You okay. a lot of you, Fatima. Thank you. And you need to shut up. I already know you like Who that. Who's talking to oh. me? I don't know what her ass right now because she's pregnant. I'm sparing her, but I will tax yours. You don't know me. Uh. Google me. I'm an entrepreneur, bitch. Okay. Pam, yeah, ma'am. Pam. Yeah. Pam. Wait, what was that okay. snap that, that Karen just did? Her, but I will tax yours. You don't know me. Google me. I'm an entrepreneur, bitch. Okay. Pam, yeah, ma'am. Pam. Yeah. Pam, Pam, okay, everyone stop. Everyone, let's just stay calm. Oh, man. Hey, ladies, I love it. That she, that's Sabrina. First off, that is, these are Sabrina's friends in her man's venue. Sabrina should have been the one to arbitrate just to be like, listen, Fatima is not even supposed to be here because Fatima. And Sabrina aren't friends. They 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 aren't buddy buddy like uh like Danny and um like Danny and Andy. It, 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 this is such a messed up situation. Ah, uh. Matt says they all knew that this exact scenario would be the likely outcome of Fatima and Karen at the same event. Anybody would know that. This is this is ridiculous that anybody would would not realize that this is this specific scenario that's going to come out from this. I'm just happy Karen has some backup from Pam, whatever it is. It's funny, but I'm, I'm it's not realistic. Remember because this shouldn't happen. one time I forgot. I don't know if it was the um, apartment situation or not, but it was some, some situation that happened and you were saying that the real test would be if Pam was there. Whether or not she would, uh, yeah, I have remember. It. And we now see she passed this test with flying colors. Yeah, I remember. I yeah. remember. Yeah, I hey, 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 ain't nobody even call you over. We don't need no juice. This is my location. <laughs> she said we don't need no juice. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Right over here. Hey, 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 ain't nobody even call you over. We don't need no juice. This, this is my location. Excuse me, how are you guys gonna talk to my man like that? And can we just all relax, please? Wait, why are you always doing that? Why are you always trying to fix things and minimize it? You can't fix everything. Just like you can't save some friendships, they just run their course. You know what? If you want my girlfriend so damn bad, you can have her. Uh. You already got my man. Uh -huh. What's a few more loose ends? My man. Ah, come on, babe, let's go. Wait, Karen. Wait, just think about what you're saying. I already have Andy, okay? With these babies on the way, I cannot afford to spend any more time with people who clearly don't care about my feelings. Let's go, Pam. Karen. Is Andy going to call that loan due right now? <laughs> Is she going to say, well, damn, uh, can I get can I get the that money back then since we're not friends? Is she going to do that? Uh, she, she could, but I, somebody should have somebody shot Karen a text because like you say, Stevie Wonder could see <laughs> yes. this is a, a disaster for a disaster. All the ingredients for madness was was, was there. Sabrina should have been the one. Let me send her a text to show I'm a friend. So like, listen, this person is going to be here. Andy, who who said that they should shouldn't even talk to each other. Let me text my girl that uh uh uh, uh what's her name is going to be here. No one did that. Nobody said I didn't. Expect, I did, I, yeah, I didn't expect uh, 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 Danny to because she's the she's the demon who likes misery loves company. She's right. the demon who, who who started this. But I'm blaming the other girls too because they didn't stop it. They didn't say, okay, let me let me send Karen a text to let her know what's going on to give right. her the option to turn her ass around and go back home. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Disgusting. Disgusting. Roots to riches, bitches. Never heard of it. You will. That's a wacky bitch. She's so wacky bitch. Well, that went left, didn't it, ladies? She came in wrong. How about that? She. So nobody's gonna go out there and talk to Karen right now. Okay. Danny, I said, I am tired of trying to prove myself to somebody who can only see the evil in me. Hmm. You know what? 
She might be right. This friendship might be over. Goodbye. Okay, Danny, you don't mean that, and neither does Karen. I don't... No. Oh, huh? I'm, I'm sorry, Sabrina, that we weren't able to toast to your promotion. I have to take this. Thanks. Hey, baby. You won't believe the shit show mocktails with girls turned into. Yeah, I want to hear all about it. Uh, but first, have you heard from my sister? Not today. Why? Hmm. Uh, I've been calling her all day. <laughs> too, and radio silence. Maybe it's the pregnancy. You know, she's probably sleeping like crazy. I'm sure she'll call you when she gets a chance. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, you're probably right. Yeah. I'm just being an overprotective big brother. Uh, still, Pause it. Let me know if you hear from her, okay? So now all of a sudden I'm supposed to believe that now they're back, but uh, the brother and sister, they're so close that they talk every day that he missed a day of her calls all of a sudden. So I'm supposed to believe that she's been telling him all the, the I guess she's been telling him all the information she's been finding on Gary and all her snooping. Obviously, she wasn't telling uh, Jordan all of that, right? So, because he, he's trying to make it seem like they they're they're so close that he's missing one of her calls. I thought that they became distant. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's it's just not it's not realistic for me to believe that one day. I guess one day is gone by where. Uh, well, I don't know how many days have gone by. It just happened what to where. Uh, she was injured or killed, right? Yeah, this would have been today. That's what I'm saying. So he's just like, oh, I haven't heard from her as if they talk every day. I just don't believe it because wouldn't he, if they were so close, she would have been telling him, okay, this is what's going on with Gary. I found this out. I found this out. I don't know. Uh, where? There we go. Call her. Yes. Yes, it's Matt. Matt. Listen, so Jordan calls Andy asking about his sister's whereabouts. You know, he's concerned, hasn't heard from her. Wouldn't that be the, even though she should have did it much sooner, shouldn't Andy have told him what was up at this point? Like she still yes. hasn't told Jordan about all of the information that she has all the information that Penelope discovered. And if maybe if she would have did that, the mole wouldn't have been able to get through. Jordan wouldn't have hired the mole, well, even though his sister is more important, but maybe he would have been able to have a safe. So Andy withholding that information is very costly, very costly. And she has another opportunity right now. And when he said, did you hear from her? And she's like, no, not today. But she should have said, "Listen, I got some something seriously that I want serious that I want to talk to you about, and talk to him about the whole situation. Like the the cat should be out the bag by now. You're not going to go to the authorities. At least tell him. What do you guys think about that? I think it is a major infraction that she has not mentioned that. I and, and I don't know why I didn't think about it on that level. It is such a major infraction." To know major. that your sister and, and, and is... I, 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 think, I think I brought it to you guys' attention a few episodes ago. And she still... This is like three episodes later. And she still hasn't brought it to his attention. A lot could have been avoided. Maybe Penelope wouldn't even have confronted Gary. And whatever happened to her, we, we don't know if she's alive or dead at this point. right? I don't think she's dead, to be honest. but I don't think so either. Really quickly, I don't want to interrupt you, but I, I want to say something really quickly. In the group, there's a message from... Um, Loretha, I put, and I meant to put it in the very beginning, I put a link in the group. If you could just click that link, it allows us to bring your comment into the, um, into the uh, stream. You only ever have to click it one time, um, but it just allows us to do that. Yeah, I think it's a major infraction in order to, your sister is with somebody. Imagine, I mean, I'm just thinking my sister was with somebody um, and, and who was, I don't know. Believe it. Maybe a, a murder. murder. Maybe a murder. Maybe a murderer. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That. That's not. That's not something I could deal with. 
and she would need to know that everybody would need to know that in fact exactly. you need to you need to let if it's if you're ever even going to let Gary know it needs to be done in such a public way where it's just understood if anything happens now it's even worse for you well um can I can I ask this but it just it's just I'm just that, to watch it and at least tell Jordan who yeah. this politician but, which well, should have some kind of connection and you know what I'm saying? And do something with Gary. This guy tried to be, trying to bring Gary down, trying to sabotage his sabotage Jordan's career. You know, he's running for office and that whole setup with the underage girl and all of that. Like, come on, this is pertinent information. Yeah. I don't Matt, mean writers. I Matt, don't know you've given them all the praise before, but I don't know, Sir Dowell. This time they really slipping on this one. I got a question for both of y'all though. Uh how do you think Andy is in too deep now? Do you think she feels like, say if Penelope is dead or really injured, do you think that she would feel like, okay, oh, crap, I didn't say anything before, so yep. do I just keep my mouth shut? Do I keep I my think, mouth shut? Like it's going to come out at some point because most of the time the cover-up is worse than the crime. Yeah. That's what I tell my kids all the time when they was little. I, I still tell them that to this day. Listen, it's not what you, all the time what you do, what you do afterwards, trying to cover it up and lie. And one lie begats another lie. So we're going to see how Andy gets out of squirms out of this one. Yeah, I think it's going to be that exact same situation where when she realizes something ain't right, she's probably even going to go to herself and say, she's not what, gonna have no what did choice. you do? Like, Leaving no choice at some point, I guess. Leaving Jordan just completely out of the loop. Right. He's yeah. going to be like, why didn't you bring this to me before? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, come on now. Mm-hmm. 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 Now, she can't even spin it. All right, guys, she won't even be able to open. spin that. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. While he was on, we had a, uh, another caller call in. Feel free to give us the call back now that that call is off the air. Um, um, go ahead. Can I just, uh, uh, so Laretha, first time I've seen, uh, Laretha make a Wait, comment on, that I missed one, it before. One more second. We got another caller. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, how are y'all? Hey, how are you? So when, this is Laretha. So when it comes to the Andy situation, I feel like for the most part, she didn't say anything because um in terms she's going to eventually try to go to the police with everything but if she start telling everybody and it gets out of what he's actually doing then that may alter him going to jail or going to prison for it because he may try to do something to cover up the situation so it's best for her to uh keep penelope in the loop to try to keep her protected is what she was trying to do but it just kind of backfired because penelope didn't listen to her because last week she clearly told her to stay away from Gary and why she should stay away, but Penelope was being hard-headed, <clears throat> so she got herself into that situation. True. But let me ask you this question. So uh -huh. she's dating this dude. She seems to like him, and she doesn't seem to have anything against Penelope at this point. They seem to get along. Right. If you were in that situation, no, you know what? Let, let's, let's take you out of that situation. Imagine if you were the uh, uh, sister of this particular woman and you knew that somebody knew that your sister was closely involved with somebody who very possibly kills people and didn't tell you. How would that make you feel? I mean, I would be a little weary, but us as females, we don't think about that at the time because I've been in situations myself where friends of mine was telling me, hey, you shouldn't date this guy because he does X, Y, and Z. But me being stubborn and actually really caring about this person, I stayed with them anyway. And then eventually what my friend said was going to happen actually happened. Mm -hmm. And um, she was like, I told you so. But that's just how us as females think. If we just you know dating a guy, we think it's either going to be one of two things. Either we're so in love with this person, we're blinded by the red signs, mm -hmm. or it could be a situation where Penelope feels like Andy's jealous and kind of want him back in a way, so she's just doing devious things to destroy their relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. About to say something, Matt? You said, Matt is still on the line? But I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, Jeff, were you about to say something? Perspective. No, no. I, no let, comment. Loretta, let me let me ask a 
question. How long have you been watching Sisters? Um, since episode one. Okay. How do you feel about oh. the writing in this season and the directing and the change? Because I don't think we've heard from you. I've been hearing from so many people who are just, they feel it, it has gotten horrible. I'm wondering how you feel. Um, I feel like for the most part, it's, it's getting better. Like, it was kind of crazy at first, and it was really good at first, and then it kind of took a turn for the worse and kind of boring. Um, I feel like now I still like it, but I feel like a lot of things Tyler Perry drag out. Like, the fact that Karen's been pregnant, it seems like, for two years now. Um, I feel like she should have had the baby by now. And then it was kind of weird because I felt like at first I was like, okay, well, Zach's the father. But then I was like, well, no, he's not the father, and they're just kind of prolonging it because she's fading into the show because of Fatima's more vocal now and they're trying to keep her relevant. And that's why one of the twins end up being Zach. But the question is, who's the other father? Yeah. Like yeah. why is it dragging out so long? She should have had the but, baby last year. But, but you listen and, and perception is everything, but up until this season, Tyler Perry was the one writing and directing and he dragged this whole thing out in this one season. We're in episode 11. In 11 uh -huh. episodes, we have found it has moved so faster than all of the other six seasons combined. Like, she was pregnant for so many different seasons, but then when the new writers took over, she's now, she'd gone from being not showing to ready to burst in 11 episodes. Like, I, I, I guess what I'm saying is, are you able to at least see that it's speeding up finally? I feel like it's speeding up a lot more, but I just feel like they could have done it differently. Just like you said, uh, in one episode, she's not pregnant at all, and then the next episode, she's about to pop. I feel like they should have, you know, as, since they drug it out so long, they should have gradually let her stomach get bigger, and it made it look more natural. And with these new writers, the wardrobe he has them wearing and just everything in general is speeding up, but it just seems unrealistic compared to, the way it naturally feels. Yeah, gotcha. Mm -hmm. got you. All right. Well, thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Hi. <laughs> thank you. All right. I'm sorry. Do you remember what you were saying? I don't, but uh, <laughs> let's just get back to the show. I can't remember. What's... Hey, baby. I will. Talk to you later. And she didn't even tell her now. Or tell him now. Like, so right now, you know she's got to be thinking something. But still, no mention of it. Fatima, mm -hmm. I need you to go with me somewhere. I know that look. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm, ladies, we'll work this out. Fatima and I have to go see a client. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thanks, Rich. <clears throat> yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, this has um, been something. Thanks for the invite. Cheers, bitch. Right. Thank you for Tina. Yeah. Wow. Dad just killed my boyfriend. Wow. Lights, lights a match and walks off. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> wow. Disgusting. I gave her a good day. Gary, where is she? God, I have to do something about the security in here. Where's who? Stop playing dumb. Mm -hmm. You already on my list for with Zach's money. It ain't gonna take shit for me to come out this bag. Andy, will you please tell your minion here that I do not speak Rottweiler? Uh. Gary? Oh. Whoa! You ain't gonna be saying shit. If I slit your throat from ear to ear. Fatima, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. She's, she's fine. You can just put it a little higher. Oh, I think you have the nuts, too. Or do you? Okay, okay. Both of you, please. We just came here for answers. Fatima, Fatima please. Try and keep. Stop talking. My goodness. I, I'm not scared of you, Fatima. And okay. I have no clue what Andy is whining about, so... Will you two please go? Gary, you know damn well that Penelope was on to you. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. I can't hear you. Sorry. 
I actually, I had just found the mute button on this microphone and I forgot I had put it on. Who question? Who do you think would win between a drag out or in a drag out between Fatima and Madam's girl? Oh, uh, blue, blue. Yes. Uh, you mean like without weapons, just hand in hand combat? I mean, let, without guns, because guns is whoever. Puts That's what I'm saying. Blue, blue, hands down. Blue would wear her behind out. <laughs> blue, take blue, 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 <laughs> blue would wear her behind out. Well, oh man, manly I... punches. Blue would wear her out. What do you think? I don't know. I think for Tim, we got you them hands. Of, of course you do. Of course you don't. Tim, we got them hands. Yeah, yeah. She got a bag. That's what she delusional. Has. And you're still the same heartless son of a bitch you have always been. I was helping her leave your psychotic ass. And she ceased communication with me and her brother. Gary, she's the mother of your child. Doesn't that matter? Gary, if you know what's good for you, you will tell us where she is right now. Right now. Pause it. I know we almost over. Uh, I think we got what two minutes left, but like Andy is talking high and mighty for somebody who's just in, she's in just as deep, just as deep, deeper, deep. just as deep. deep. You know, imagine deeper. a police report happening right now. They gonna have all kind of questions for Andy at this point. Wait, you all kind what? of questions. You knew what? You said what? Like this is half the investigation is gonna be about Andy and her negligence. Exactly. Should I, I wouldn't be if this gets I wouldn't be surprised if she get dropped dropped from that high profile case. But this is getting too messy. No. It's getting too messy. You know? Uh and and then Jordan, his beloved sister, he's gonna once he finds out that you knew that he he he's a murderer and you, you didn't knew? tell me. And then when I called you and tell you that I'm having concerns about my sister. Not only do you not say anything, but you then get a posse together to hand on over to Gary's in order to confront all of this stuff. And then what is she going to do? Go back home to him and sit down and say, oh, I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she'll turn up. And, and yes. Yeah, she's but it can't get yep. better. It, it, things cannot get better. Oh, my God. But that's, that's that Andy. Lies on top of lies. Smoking mirrors. Smoking me. That's Andy. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hello? Hey, girl. Just calling to make sure you made it home safely. Yeah, I just got in. Thank you for checking. Pam? Thank you for having my back today. I got you, girl. I'll see you at the shop tomorrow. All right, I'll see you. Hmm. Let me guess. You forgot to tell me what happened at the bank? I'm sorry, Miss Smart? I'm, I'm sorry, who is this? This is Dr. Phillips from Vanguard Hospital. Oh, I'm sorry. She makes her own so calls, too. <laughs> Leave that lady alone. Was entrepreneur, entrepreneur. Yeah. That's quite all right. I'm calling to let you know your paternity test results are in. Nurse Giddens is uploading them to your digital account with us, but I figured you might be antsy to hear the results. No, I'm not antsy. I, I already know who the father is. It's Zach Taylor. It's just a... Formality. Go ahead. You're right. Mr. Taylor is the father of one of the two fetuses you're carrying. I'm, I'm sorry? One? There's no easy way to put this, Miss Mott. But in very rare cases, it's possible for a mother to become pregnant with fraternal twins by two different fathers. Are they going to give us some ep Zach's not the Here we are. of one of the babies. I don't understand what you're saying. Next on Sisters. I'm sick of your shit, Gary. But him don't. Andy, he's not going to admit it. I need a big favor. Could you watch the kids for me this evening? I'm in a bit of a bind. Woo! Gary has done things, terrible things, and he's gotten away with them. Miss Danny, what are these for? 
What did you just say? Pull it, unless you all want to be detained. All right. Well, okay. that is different from what we thought. Um, I guess what was she, different? Well, she did go back and let him know something, you know, that something was going on. Um, so that's it. it but it, it that conversation sounded very one sided. It said Gary done terrible things. This, uh, well, I guess you're right, but we need to get that timeline established. You know, I hope she, I hope her timeline is accurate to when she found out this information. You know, because I think she might be padding that timeline. Yeah. Um, the situation with uh, uh, Danny, which I don't care about that scenario, but how unrealistic is is it that he's asking her to watch his kids? Dudes like, are dudes do that ridiculous stuff. I, I mean, I, I think it's ridiculous in general, but I don't think it's abnormal. I think. Men in that situation do that, which is stupid. I never did that. I, Ooh, I I'm just saying that. her, her in particular, who you know doesn't like freaking kids, but I need you to do me a favor and watch my kids yeah. that you hate and they hate you. Yeah. yeah. Um, any other uh, scenarios sticks out to you? No. I, I liked the episode. It, it it kept me engaged the whole time. I'm still loving the new writers and directors, like loving them. Um, I was just looking back. I just wanted to make sure that, because I know I was out of town. I want to make sure that we were not further behind than I thought on um on Sisters. Do you know the answer to that question? What's the qu what's the question? Are we further behind than one episode on on Sisters? We we up to date. What you mean? I know. I'm talking about prior to right now. Were we only missing one episode? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. I was just looking. I, you know, we 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 sometimes get beside ourselves. Yes. Yeah, we are. I really like this episode. It was so much content. I'm trying to think if I'm missing something. Uh, I guess uh, towards the end we saw that uh, the team is still going to be grilling. Grilling, uh, Gary. Grilling, uh, Gary. Uh, I don't know what they expect to get because he's not scared of the team, uh, apparently. Uh, hmm. But like, uh, but Andy, she needs to, she needs to tread lightly because she's, she's in deep. She, she's in deep, and I, I, I can't wait to see the conversation between her and uh Jordan to see how she unloads this information. And to see how she does it, is she gonna like pad it to cover her own behind? Mm -hmm. I want to see. Yeah. Uh, oh. Is the friendship truly over between Karen and the and the sister circle? Is nah. that it? Nah, it's not. I know. I know. I would say it's gonna be a uh, between Danny and Karen, which I think I kind of saw this for a while that them not vibing but i think it's gonna be a while before they're back cool um i think you already told me uh i was gonna ask you how you felt about karen and being ambushed at the mocktail but i think you already said that i think you agree with me when i said completely that they should have gave her a heads up yeah. completely agree i mean fatima shouldn't have been invited they should have gave her a heads up somebody should have asked fatima to leave like that's 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 actually the um the scenario that that should have gone down i mean of course she would have been all hurt and offended and all that but um yeah somebody that no this should not have played out like that but it was just even more um, disgusting with how they all just thought oh this is just so great karen's not gonna mind get out of here I, I got a comment from matt uh so that's their master plan to get crazy gary to confess i guess so and then he put uh when we talked about Fatima against Blue, he put Blue with tear Fatima. That's I said the same thing. I don't even uh, see Blue that with comment. Tear Fatima. Oh, there. It uh, is. Yeah, I see yeah, it in the top it. comments. Yeah, uh, it. So there's your cliffhanger. Who is the other child's father, and where's Penelope? You think? Um, well, we're about to hit episode twelve, or you think we're about to hit a mid-season finale? 
I don't know. I don't want it to end. I'm like, I'm loving it. Da, yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. But uh, so who do you think is the other father? I still think it's that um stripper dude. Yeah, because so because I, I think the easy, the easy uh, the easy out would would it would be Aaron. That's what everybody would assume, Aaron. Yeah. But I think everybody's forgetting about the the stripper guy, right? Yes, I don't and, even and, remember and what he looks like. Rico, um, uh, I kind of remember what he looks like, and 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 this will be easy for her because she basically would have to have slept with that with him within like a day of Zach. Mm. I don't think um, for that type of uh, twins, I don't think you can go longer than like 24 hours. I, I, my understanding is it is a very short window. I don't know, but um, like some pregnant women can still have their period, right? That's, that's yeah, what that, I, I mean, heard. That does like, happen. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that matters. I don't know how that works. Well, no, but... it has to do with what, once the sperm finds the egg and then the egg... It, everything moves to a specific place it's now closed off from other gestations but what i'm saying is I, so if a woman gets pregnant and they now have a growing fertile egg they are still producing eggs right yeah, but no can, egg can get fertilized after after a firm gestation no egg she 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 um well i mean women don't produce eggs they're born with all the eggs that they're gonna have well, that and they just run out as they get older. Yeah, but, but, but it's it's that um, implantation that stops a new pregnancy. But until that gestation or implantation happens, there's a very short window where if a different ejaculate goes in, a uh -huh. new baby could hit another egg. And okay. and then they both go at the same time. Normally, it happens at the same time. Two sperm fertilize two different eggs, and then they 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 go down together, like at exactly the same time. Uh, but it can be two different men, and but the window is short because after that huh. happens, the pregnant there's no other pregnancies that can happen until that baby is now out. Got it. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This this episode got, got me really in my feelings. That that scene that scene really got under my skin at at the mock at the uh the uh the juice bar. Yeah. It really it really got under my skin. It was good TV, but yeah. it got under my skin. I yeah. I didn't like it. And uh, Danny's a jerk. She's Danny's that, a real jerk. She is a real jerk. Let's see how they're gonna come mm, out of this. Mm, mm. All right, so we still and need I, to do some ruthless, and we need to do the oval. Um, I'm hearing oval was very good. I want to do the oval uh, tomorrow if, okay. if we can't. Cause I'm off the next two days, so I got free time just relaxing. I'm gonna work from home tomorrow. So, all right, so uh, tomorrow night we do the oval, so people watch.